Okay, I'm not building my boat today at all, as you can tell. But I'm at the Big Little Boat Show, which is an oxymoron. <laughs> and I'm here with none other than the guy who designed the boat that Joey Schott and I are building, Nick Schotta. Right here, how yep. you doing, Nick? Good to see you, Vinny. I'm doing great. Nick, hi, all right, so I talk about your museum quality boat, mm -hmm. and the only thing museum about my boat is that we're not stapling. And, you know, there's some mess ups in there and the yeah. whole thing. My first question is, how do you end up with a boat in the Museum of Modern Art? It's, it's a long story. It's not something I intended to do. I ended up having a boat in a show in New York City right when 9-11 happened. And the show was at a museum right across from the, American, uh, from the Museum of Modern Art. Yeah. And some people from the Museum of Modern Art saw it there at that show and ended up buying it. Wow. Okay, um, which boat was it out of all your boats? Which design was it? It was a night heron. And it's the same boat I'm building? Yep. Yeah, so you see, I too can have the same boat that's in the museum. Not really though, <laughs> because, um, all right, so first time builder, you've been watching my stuff online yep. a little bit. How are we doing? Looks like you're doing a great job. This is looking beautiful. Yeah. But it's because I have a master boat builder yeah. next to yeah, me. Yeah, it's... Joey helps a little bit, yeah. yeah. And one of my big questions before I built the boat, whenever you guys build one-off boats, mm -hmm. the problem becomes the price, right? Yeah. And, and yeah. I would go, what the hell is with these prices? And then someone explained to me, well, it's the, the time. Yeah, right? you're starting to realize that. Oh yeah, we're, we're at 140 some odd hours. Yeah. And you're, you, I figure when the woodwork is done, you're less than halfway there. I, that, I started thinking, I didn't talk to Joey about that, but yeah. that's what I started thinking, it's like, we're almost done with the deck yeah and then we got all this glassing to do we have to build the, you know the, the cockpit and everything yeah. else and yeah. i'm going to cheat i'm going to buy one of your seats can right. you build a seat for me just to i can yeah. Yeah. thank you i'm not going to build a seat i'll look at it as right. daunting yeah do you build those in your factory and your at your place factory is a strong word for my your garage, garage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah by the way folks all of these boats even the one that's in the museum you built that in your garage it was a basement at that time but yeah Okay, so here's my question. Why? Why did you start? I know you started in 1980 or 81. What happened? I was just graduated from college. It was, I think it was 86. And I saw these kayaks out there. I wanted one, but I couldn't afford one. Yeah. I sort of grown up with family members that built boats. And so I thought, no, oh, I can build one of these. And yeah. so I, I built one. And what did you call that first boat? Um, I called it the Great Auk. Okay, yep. and you still make that boat. I see yep. it in your design lineup. Yep. Yeah, there's actually a small version right here. Yeah. Um, but essentially that's based on my, that first boat. I, um, I've been out in that particular boat, that Great Auk. Yep. Uh, and it's a really easy boat to paddle. Yep. Because I'm not a great paddler. Yep. It's stable, it's as chunky, it's big, it's just... As a matter of fact, my brother-in-law, who, who came from England, he was stuck here during the pandemic. I think he was in exactly that boat. Yeah. And just hopped right in it and took off. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Would you consider that a good first boat? Yeah, something like that. And, and there's this is the 14 foot version, there's a 17 foot version. Either one's a great first time boat. Cool. Last question. This is where it gets confusing, folks, because Nick will build a one off boat, but you sell your boat plans, your Gillimot kayak. Yeah and you sell your boat plans, we're at the CLC boat show, the, the Chesapeake Lightcraft boat show, and they sell the plans. How does all that work? How does it all come together? Well, I, I hooked up with John Harris, who owns uh, Chesapeake Lightcraft a long time ago, um, and he had a bunch of the plywood stitch and glue designs, um, but not a lot in the strip boat designs. And so I had those and he wanted to expand his catalog into those. Yeah. And so he basically took my took on my catalog and added it to his catalog. So I get a royalty on each one that he sells. Each Which is great because, you know, you know, even though Joey worked there, yeah. a guy from Turning Point Boat Works, now we're getting into more companies. Joey has his own company. Um, the cool thing is, is that you anyone can go to CLC get the plans that you designed. Yeah. I have the big thing, it looks like housing plans, it's yeah. a big deal. We're going right from that, even though Joey's built a bunch of these, yeah. we're flipping through those plans, sure. making sure 
you could buy that from CLC. I guess that's where you get your royalty. Yep. And um, or and, you could buy a kit with all the material. Yeah. And we bought the planks, and I wanted to rip the planks and everything because yep. I wanted to see what that was. But you could just get the kit and do it yourself. It's really a do it yourself. If Absolutely. you have a big enough garage, yeah. you can yeah. do it. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. So. The night here in your building is like an 18-foot boat, so you, you, if you have a 20-foot garage, you can do it. Yeah, you just need to be able to walk around it, yeah. and uh, and we're building it in a tight space. By the way, I want to give Joey a lot of credit here, Turning Point Boatworks. He takes the same designs, he takes your petrol, pretty much, yeah. and builds them out of anything you want, apparently, right? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, he got upset yesterday because I fell asleep during a seminar, but it's because I've actually helped him with those molds and injections and everything yeah. so many times. I feel like I know it backwards and, and forwards, but yeah. he'll do them in Kevlar. He'll do them in fiberglass layup. He'll mm -hmm. do them in carbon uh, fiber. Carbon fiber. Yeah. You, yeah. you name it, he's doing it. And he'll still make a wood one for you if you really want to, too. Yeah, but yeah. again, <laughs> you better have north of 20 grand or something because yeah. it takes all of Joey's time. Yeah. So you can go check out Turning Point pointboatworks.com you can check out Gillymot kayaks it's written right there on his yep. hat go check that out but once you go to Gillymot you you're going to freak out because you're going to just go down this rabbit hole and once you get down that rabbit hole go to CLC boats uh, just Pete Lightcraft and see what's going on there and you might fall in love with a new hobby because I certainly have Na uh, Nick thanks yes, for, thanks for thanks doing a lot this, of things. it's great to meet you great.